Hey there, welcome to Cruise. If you're looking for an entertaining yet informative car review video, then you've come to the right place. Buckle up as we take you on a journey and have a glimpse at the interesting history of one of the most well-known car models out there, the Toyota Corolla E120. First, let's talk about the name. What does Corolla even mean? Well, according to some sources, including Toyota's website, a Corolla is the ring of petals around the central part of a flower. I guess that's supposed to symbolize beauty, and when it comes to the beauty of this car, I'll just say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. The Toyota Corolla E120, also well known as the Corolla X, is a car that is known worldwide for its affordability and reliability. According to imcdb.org, Corollas have appeared in hundreds of movies and TV shows, and you can literally see them everywhere. But how and why did this average looking sedan get so famous? The Corolla E120 was produced from around 2000 to 2009 depending on the specific variant of the model and the country it was sold in. Here's the variant that was sold in Japan, Australia, and most of Southeast Asia from 2000 to 2007. It was also available as a hatchback and wagon. Here's the North American one. I must say it's not very sleek, but I guess the charm comes from its round curves and luxurious interior space. Here's a cool hatchback version of the E120 Corolla called the T-Sport. It was mostly exported to the European markets. For this video, we'll focus on the Japanese and South Asian version of the E120. So let's talk more about specifics. With the front wheel drive setup, the curb weight of the car comes to around 2,226 to 2,601 pounds, depending on the trim level of course. The length of the wheelbase is around 2600 millimeters, and the Corolla also has good ground clearance of about 160 millimeters. The engine. The Corolla came with a variety of engine displacements, all of them being inline fours. The 1.4 liter, for example, had about 97 horsepower and 96 pound feet of torque, and a top speed of 115 miles per hour. Damn, that's fast. Just kidding. The 1.6 liter had 110 horsepower, 111 pound foot of torque, and a top speed of 118.1 miles per hour. There are also diesel variants of the car. Transmission The transmission options for the Corolla E120 are the 4 speed automatic, 5 speed manual, or a 6 speed manual. Fun fact, Toyota Corolla has held the title for being the world's best-selling car many times. Now let's ask some Corolla owners about their experience. I was going on a long journey and didn't stop for any brakes or let my car cool down and well, this happened. Ooh, scary. Despite the appealing exterior design, the Corolla X is the tantrum kid who leech your money easily dented, more frequent repairs and checkups required. Maybe you're just a bad driver. My 2002 Corolla's engine drinks up excessive oil. Too much in my opinion. Interesting. The automatic transmission doesn't shift correctly, and the check engine light is always on because of the EVAP system or something. Better get that car checked out. Well. Those were some of the issues and complaints about the Corolla. Now, let's move on to why Corolla X was deemed as the king for many years. First off, the Toyota Corollas, in general, have great fuel economy and come at a very affordable price, which makes them great for market anywhere in the world. And the E120 model is no different. They are well known for their reliability the engine working still after many miles of driving. Even better, unlike a lot of cars, Corollas don't significantly lose their resale value, so you can still sell or trade it in, if you do get a Corolla that is. 
Well, that was it guys, now you know why the Toyota Corolla X is so infamous. And thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below, which car would you like us to review next? Also, please be sure to subscribe for more cruise reviews. See you later.